Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing alright. So this is something to um, just all the preachers and priests and people speaking on the word of Yahushua. Um, this is just my opinion. Um, but if you look at the state of the world, everything that we've done in the past has got us to where we're at right now. So everything's fucked up right now, which means we have to change essentially everything. I mean, I'm saying that very fucking loosely, but essentially we do. It all needs a reevaluation, <clears throat> especially the way the church operates. So um, this is uh, something I've been feeling for a while, and I've spoken on it a little bit. But, you know, people who do, like preachers and pastors and people that are uh, performing exorcism and things of this nature, um, you have to think, if these things were really as effective as um as far as like completely eradicating demonic energy <clears throat> and don't you think there'd be a lot less demonic energy on the planet right now so why is it that there is such a plethora of demonic energy yet there is still so many people whom are speaking you know like exercise like a lot of a very popular and famous <clears throat> well-known spiritual practitioners of the christian faith um, seem to spend a lot of time exercising demons out of people, which isn't bad. The only problem is that I don't see them doing is that they don't address the reason why the demon was there in the first place. There's a root cause as to why people have demonic possessions. And until you deal with the root cause of the problem, the possession is going to come back. It is what it is. That's why things are fucked up in America. That's why if you go to a haunted house, if you don't you can clean the house, but if people keep doing the same stuff that brought the haunting in, the house is going to continue to be haunted. So it's the same thing with people. If if you're not, if you're a preacher or you're a priest or a pastor or something like that, you're not finding out the root causes of the reason why they have a demonic possession, and you're not helping them solve that problem, then you're really only giving them a band-aid. And, and then if you're doing that in a way and you're getting a lot of money and you're putting on an image like you're solving people's problems and changing their lives forever when you're actually not, you know, or you're putting on the image that you are and you really don't know if you really are or not, then you could be misleading people or you essentially are misleading people. And that's that's not a good thing to do. So let's not do that anymore. And um, try to find out the root causes of the reasons why people are suffering from these demonic possessions and help them with that. And then once you figure out that reason, then you can give them the exorcism. And on top of the exorcism, you can give them a whole new prescription of a way to live life that's in accordance with the word of Yahushua. But again, this also goes back to the nature of the jobs that we choose to work. If one's working a job that's perpetuating more damage and hell into the world, they're going to continue getting that hell back onto them every single day as long as they continue working these jobs. This is why I feel it's God's will for us to develop a completely new infrastructure that does not perpetuate hell. So, all right. I love you guys. Y'all take care. Bye.